Test. Uh, before I get into today's first ride and initial impressions of the Rave Bullet GT, I want to address something real quick. I believe I gave some misinformation about the bike and I will take full accountability for that, but I'm hoping to use this video as overall to kind of fix that and give you guys the correct information. The reason why that happened was because for context, when I was emailing Rave back and forth, one of the questions that they asked me in regards to me receiving the bike is my height and weight. I asked them why they would need that because I've never been asked that to get a bike before and they said it's just to make sure that I get the right size bike for me. At the time, they told me that the best fitting bike for me would be the Bullet GTX, a slightly larger version of this bike. Now, I've quickly tested out this bike just up and down the street and I feel like I fit it fine. But at the time, I didn't really know in terms of like the release date of the GTX versus the GT or anything like that. I just knew that the GTX by numbers of my body and what they told me is what would fit me best so just off of that i assumed i would be getting that one the gtx which won't be coming out for at least another couple of weeks is the bike that goes 32 miles an hour this one its top speed once you unlock it is 28. i feel like that is the biggest piece of misinformation that i mentioned in that previous video so if i confuse any of you guys i do apologize for that hopefully this video will fix that but with that being said Let's get into today's first ride. I've been excited. It's been raining all week, but today's the first nice day of the week. I, I can't wait to try this out on the road. Let's go. Okay, let's go ahead and turn on the bike. Like I said, I've only taken it up and down the street, so I've given it a quick test. And there's one thing I haven't been able to figure out is the squeaking, that right there, of the brakes. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just chalked up to me needing to break it in and, you know, just ride it around a lot more. But other than that, this is actually my first ride on the GT. It would help if I put the kickstand up. I was so excited, I forgot to put it up. Yeah, see that right... Th that right there, I don't know why that won't stop. Yeah, see that squeaking, I'm pretty sure, is just for me needing to break in the brakes. Ah, oh, but it's like so loud and like... Why does it do that? See, when I did my test ride, it wasn't doing this at all. Wow, wait, why are these already hot? I'm touching the brake pads and they are actually hot. Why is that? Are the back ones like that? They're already hot. Hold on a second. Let me just do a quick test ride around the neighborhood because I've never, I, I don't know. It's insane how hot these are already. I've only gone like down the street and around the corner. Okay, now they don't do it, which is weird. They do it when I hit the brakes, but, and that's it. But that is strange. Okay, so right now, stock speed and stock power, it looks like we're topping out at about 20 miles an hour. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the top speed. We're going downhill, so obviously it's gonna be picking it up. Whoa there, buddy. Stay on your side of the road. But overall, so far, other than the brakes, uh, or the brake pads, or brake rotors, I mean, this is actually a really comfortable seat. I'm not even gonna lie. The form factor, the size, the riding position, if you will, 
feels a lot like a Super 73 Z series bike, which I'm used to. You know, I've raced on a uh, on a Z bike, if you will. A Z, I think it was a ZX at the time. But you know what? We're going on the road right now, so let me see about unlocking it. If I remember correctly, you have to hold up and down. Hit this. Nope. I'm in the wrong way. All right, I got to break out my phone to do it. Okay, GT speed unlock. Hit the power, or the plus and minus to go to TCN. Press both power and minus. Okay, then press the power button to go to L5. And then just max it out. So now the maximum speed should be 28 miles an hour. So before we hit this downhill right behind me, it we really topped out at 20. Going downhill, it was like 22, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. I was kind of more concerned about the brakes. But let's see how we do. I'd, I'd rather go faster on a road like this. It's not too busy. But you know, the faster I am, the more comfortable I feel. But we're not gonna take my normal route. And if you guys are new, I have these stray cats I like to feed almost every day, or at least I try to do it every day. And so I like to take the bike when it's nice out. And just to take care of them. Alright, yeah, we're already going faster than that uh, stock maximum power setting. Ah, uh, but there's a sound again. I know for a fact I'm going to be turning heads if that keeps happening. Also, don't have mirrors on this, so I have to be very careful. And this bike does have front and rear suspension, so just hitting those bumps, even though they're not too big, felt pretty good. Now we're going up a, an, uh, an uphill right now, and some of my bikes usually slow down a lot when I'm going up this hill. This one for sure is slowing down. But it's actually doing a lot better than some of my other bikes. Some of my other bikes, like the S1, just for example, I would have to pedal going up this hill. And I think uphill it would go about 16 to 17 miles an hour. But we're hitting about 20, 21. That's not bad. Obviously, bikes like my uh, P51 Bullet and my RX, they can do this no problem. I think the Frigo is actually worse than my S1 when it comes to going up this hill. Now, just in case... The brakes do become an issue. I'm not going to take my main route. I'm going to take the neighborhood route. So this bike has just three power modes. The power modes really being just pedal assist. It has a seven speed Shimano, which is nice. Long, comfortable. I don't want to say it's a banana seat, but it's a banana like seat. I know it's custom or custom what's the word proprietary if you will to rave and to my knowledge all, there are some accessories that are already in the work such as I think pegs a surf rack because a lot of people who already have their bike are on the beach so I'm, sur I'm sure that there's like a surfer customer base so that's already good they're already addressing that so I can't wait to see, you know, what the, the future of the company looks like. I mean, so far, other than the brakes, which I don't know if that's a me thing or like just a normal thing that I never noticed with my bikes, that the brakes are just hot almost instantly. It's a pretty comfortable bike. I'm not going to lie. I have my 360 camera on me. So that way, when I, on the way back, I can throw that on so you guys can see how it looks or have an idea of how it looks. For record, I'm 5'11". And over 200 pounds. I don't want to say the exact number because I'm kind of self-conscious. Um, but, you know, summer's around the corner. So I'm really trying to prioritize the gym and trying to lose a few pounds. 
And even though, like I mentioned earlier, my uh, height and weight do fall under the bigger version of this bike, the GTX, I feel pretty comfortable on this on this size. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel too cramped. I don't feel too, you know, kind of smushed in, almost like a clown car. It's like the best uh, analogy that I can think of right now. It feels pretty good. There's also adjustable suspension. You can adjust the compression and the preload right here too. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go on the sidewalk or stick to the bike lane, but I'll, I'll do bike lane. Yeah, see, so going over like drain hole or manhole covers. Look at that. <laughs> Electric tutor. I don't even know who that guy was, but you know, I always feel like I got a wave whenever I see a fellow electric vehicle guy, you know what I mean? Just to be polite. Oh, is there another one? Is that an e-bike over there? I can't, oh it is, it's one of those electric bikes. They like fold in half or something. They're like a, one of the more budget options. Man, everyone is out riding. I saw a scooter, I saw electric. Cool PEV group chats that I'm in to see who it is, just to, you know, just to ask. But I haven't been able to find him again. So we have a mystery Onyx rider on our hands, guys. Oh wait, I just realized I never unclipped the keys. Wow, those are the keys for the battery. I never took them off the bike. That's crazy. I mean, pretty good spot. I really don't plan on taking off this battery ever. Just because uh, in comparison to the other bikes that I have, all the batteries are like on top of the frame. Like all the batteries are here. This battery, at least the stock one, is in the frame. There, there is an optional, uh, what am I saying? There is an optional secondary battery that would go under the frame. If I do end up getting that one, but I'm pretty sure I am, I would for sure be taking that bike off if, you know, I end up loading up the this bike to my bike rack, which I don't have yet, but I do. Uh, I do have a hitch installed. So now, I need you guys to leave your recommendations for a bike rack in the comments. And here are the little kittens that I gotta feed. You know, I was thinking about it. I've been feeding these guys for two years. Some have come and gone, but these two come all the time now. I think these are like, I don't wanna, you know, go dark. I think these are the last ones. And most of them are spayed and neutered, so they're not going to make babies. I got 360 cam set up, so for the rest of the video, hopefully this gives you guys a better perspective on how the bike looks when it comes to riding. And for a 5'11 guy like me, In terms of torque, it's not bad. In terms of getting to its top speed, right now I'm hitting 22, 24. If I can put it on screen, I will. Can I keep up with that car? Hell no, I can't. <laughs> But yeah, this seat is very long, so I'm sure with passenger pegs that they're going to be releasing at some point, definitely this is good for like a two-person bike, or a two-person, yeah, right, two-person bike? Is that what I'm trying to say? You know what I mean, the, the rider and a plus one. 
Okay, I'm actually going to play it double safe and kind of cut to the front. And there's no one coming this way and no one coming that way, so fuck it. Okay, so as I'm pedaling right now, it doesn't feel like I'm helping the motor. Usually when I'm pedaling and I have the throttle at the same time, there's some resistance when pedaling, so it feels like I'm helping the motor. But then again, I just remembered that might be from the, from the gears. You know, the, the pedaling being a little bit easier with the gears. Yeah, pedal, throttle alone, it's not that torquey, but if you throttle and give it some like pedal power, it feels pretty good, it's not that bad. And to make it easy, we're just going to go back the same way we came to make it safe. I'm sure once I'm used to this bike, I'll kind of take it through its true paces. And I know for some reason, people were online on, on the Facebook group for Rave. They were complaining about how there's only unboxing videos and there's no review videos. And I'm like, bro, if you want a review, that's going to take time. Like people don't get the new iPhone day one and make a review about it. Okay, I, I lied. They kind of do, but it's like for an iPhone, you know what to expect. But for something new like this bike, people don't know what to expect. So, at least for me, I want to take my sweet time, you know, getting to know the bike, getting a feel for the bike. I'm a little bit too anxious to do, you know, a range test because on paper, it could say it can go, let's just say 40 miles of range. And I could be 30 miles out and it dies on me and then I have to pedal all the way back home. So I would be more than happy to leave that to the people who, you know, have an extra hand, you know, maybe a truck that can pick them up if they die somewhere or if the battery dies somewhere, I should say. But me, I'm more of a, a commuter, right? Even though I work from home, if I wasn't working from home, if I was actually going to work in person at my job, I would only go a little bit farther than where I was just at with the cats. Like my job site is like maybe another half a mile down the main road and I'm there. So if you're commuting, that's, that's, you know, that's me, right? If you're commuting or if you're just going out having some fun, just going on fun rides, this is the bike or, you know, that this is like the content that I put out. But if you're actually looking for full on like reviews in depth, the battery, the power, all that stuff, I'll honestly just recommend you check out another channel. I like to keep it real. I like to keep it honest. I'm not going to say, you know, a product is good. If I don't think it's good, if I find a flaw, I'll put that in the video, not to bash any company. It's, it's more of like feedback. It might sound like bashing. What is this guy doing? You have way more to keep going until you hit the stoplight, my guy. And I guess you can just sit in the middle and just block. What are you doing? You're going left or right? Ah, there it is again. What that is, I don't know exactly. I'm sure it's just the, the rotor rubbing on the pads. Hopefully that goes away with some more riding, but yeah. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot if I mentioned this before I got to the cats or not. I know I was talking about it. What are some good bike racks that you guys would recommend? Like I mentioned, I did just get a hitch installed on my car. So now I just need the rack and then I'll be more mobile so that way I can travel a bit with my bikes. Maybe go on some more group rides out of state or just further out because right now, all I'm really going to is a, is DC group rides, which those are fun, don't get me wrong, but sometimes I want to go to like maybe New York or maybe Jersey or, or wherever else without just throwing my, my bike in the back of the car or if my girlfriend wants to go with me, 
you know, I can't fit two bikes in the back of my car. I need to put one in the back and maybe one on the rack. You know what I mean? So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think of this bike. What time is it? That makes me nervous. I don't know why. But yeah, guys, this is the Rave Bullet GT e-bike. 750 watt motor, 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery with an optional extra eight amp hours that can go on the bottom frame right here. Top speed I've gotten or says is 28 plus. You know, once you unlock it, you can get to past 28 plus, but out of the box, it's roughly 20. And yeah, like I said, I'm loving the look of the bike. Honestly, it looks really cool. Looks just like a motorcycle. Obviously, this is just like a first ride, initial impressions, no in-depth review, just kind of getting to know the bike real quick, getting a feel for it. But overall, I like it. Really, really do. Street tires, yes, no. White wall tires, what do you guys think? Just slick tires, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts on the bike down below. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, leave a comment. Peace.